Before the war, um, it was just like a normal childhood, really, like everyone else. You go to school, you come back, do homework, hang out with friends. That was like a daily thing. But then, after the war, really, you were really restricted. Like, going to school sometimes would be dangerous. I wasn't allowed to leave the house outside of a certain area because because it was fighting around there. Also, like, it was really common to hear gunshots. Like, it came really common to a point where we slept while there was fighting going around the city. You could hear the gunshots and you just, you just realize that it's not gonna stop, so you just sleep. Like, before we left in about a week, they're, they usually, ISIS sends a letter usually, and then they basically give you a warning either to convert, leave, or die. And my parents, and along with like a lot of families, they chose to flee the city. We got to the airport, and on the plane, um, we were sh being shot at from down there. It was really hard to make friends in the beginning because it's, kind of, it's kind of difficult when you can't communicate with them. I remember like my friends still now, they tease me about it. They're like, oh, I remember you in seventh grade where, when you went by the name Roger, which is not my name. I just didn't know how to make, to tell people that's not, that's not my name. I hope that just as we grow up, we have to realize that life is precious. It's really the most valuable thing we have. And I want to spread that word around that Every life matters.